What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Your boy Jay Sama is in the building once again. Yo, uh, so today we're talking about a very interesting topic. Um, and I say that with a very heavy heart because uh, we're talking Injustice 2. And if you guys can't tell by the title, I'm not excited for the game. Um, not only am I not excited for the game, I'm not excited for the DLC. I'm not excited for the customizable characters. I'm not excited for Joker. That guy looks ridiculously ugly. Like, are you kidding me? Like, really? Punk Rock Junker, a uh, Joker, Punk, Punk Rock Joker. Uh, I'll try to say that three times fast. Really, like, where where'd the creativity go? Like, I I just don't understand. It. Like, now if I had to compare two games together, right? Let's compare um, Marvel versus Capcom Infinite or Marvel MVC Four and Injustice Two. It's like I got to deal with Capcom on one. I got to deal with Nether Realm on the other. Like. I, I just I just don't get it and both are easily byproducts of you know the current gaming industry which kind of definitely bugs me I, I, let me let's just get started okay my first problem with injustice 2 is the fact that they're putting a paywall behind dark side all right that is that is I wouldn't say that's the biggest problem but I would definitely have to say this is a huge issue in the gaming industry where pre-order bonuses are such a huge thing like you you literally cannot unlock this thing ever in your life unless you pre-order this game and then what's also a shitty situation is when they have exclusive based on the store that you purchase at so let's say they had dark side um lobo uh who's another character that hasn't been confirmed for the game uh maybe mr freeze okay let's say these three characters are available for the game right but in order to get dark side you have to pre-order on amazon in order to get mr freeze you have to pre-order at gamestop and in order to get uh lobo you have to pre-order at best buy so either way you're asked out for one of these characters two of these characters i'm sorry two of these characters you're not getting so i've always had an issue with that unfortunately that is not the circumstance here but it is a circumstance and now somebody like me who doesn't really like dropping five dollars on a video game the day before it comes out or the week before or the month before it comes out i really don't want to do that because maybe you haven't sold me on the game yet maybe i'm somebody who's a smart shopper who purchases after the game comes out after i see reviews now if you're anything uh you know already triggered like jay that's not how it's supposed to work well you're part of the problem my friend unfortunately by you going to gamestop and putting your five dollar five dollars down on this game that hasn't come out yet and you're not even sure if it's gonna be any good just because the last game was pretty decent you're kind of just like uh they can't fuck up on it yes they fucking can these type of things happen and unfortunately the gaming industry is built on how many sales can we get immediately as you guys can see, Destiny was a very big byproduct of that. And it's been years since that game came out. And we are still seeing repercussions of that. So I, I don't want to see this continue in the anime, in the, in the, uh, I said anime. I don't want to see this continue in the gaming industry. Like it just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Now, uh, if you've rocked with my channel for a while, you already know about hashtag fuck Bethesda because Bethesda has a very interesting situation where they don't give out press copies of games. They don't give them out early. They don't want to see reviews until the day the game is out. So it's very interesting that they do that because they make pretty good products. You would figure if you make a good product, you should give your game out so that way people have early access to it. People can play it, you know, and then have day of reviews. Some companies are not confident in that. So uh, with that said, let's let's kind of bring that back to Injustice and see how that applies. In this particular situation, somebody like me, with all the connections that I have, I could easily get this game two weeks early. No problem. I could get it two, three weeks early, and then I play it, find out the game is shit. I want to tell as many people as I can that the game is shit. And not only that, the way I get my games we don't get pre-order bonuses like my like my guy doesn't he doesn't hook me up with pre-order but how, how the fuck are you gonna get a pre-order bonus you're not a retail store my guy like you, you, <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense so it's also another thing I, I feel like this is shitting on smart shoppers and just getting that five dollar pre-order dlc as fast as possible now let's just segue over here to the customizable character thing i have no fucking clue what the hell is going on here like it is a situation where Oh my god, am I going to be able to play this game fairly online? How is the rank system going to work? There's a lot of details that this game has not exactly like rolled out for us. And the details that are out are kind of vague. And there's no way that you can tell me that they're not. Yeah, you'll see 
mediocre mediocre post here and there on Twitter or on Facebook or on their or on their YouTube page and stuff like that. We're announcing Injustice 2. Will you be able to play? Uh, there's going to be a customized rank mode. There's going to be a standard rank mode. One where you can use your item equips. One where you can't. Then there's going to be a quick play. Then there's going to be a quick play customization. Like these these game modes need to exist. There's going to be a tournament mode. A, a tournament mode without items on. Like these these are things that have to exist. And unfortunately, I haven't seen them yet. So that makes me not interested in the game and now let's talk about this this joker situation because this this actually bothers me i don't know if any of you guys have really noticed but the game looks drastically different this time around compared to the previous one i don't know if there's a team switch up or whatever what the situation may might be but the faces the faces and the graphics are a little off i know for superman it looks like he has like a booty chin or something like he didn't look like that in the first game i, I don't know but correct, correct me if i'm wrong this just looks super strange to me i, I just don't I just don't understand but i'm not going to judge the game solely on the looks and the appeal and the, and the apparel of the characters in there maybe just joker maybe just joker i think what i'm so triggered about is the fact that i think the biggest thing is it's a spit in the face of the consumer it's the spit in the face of the youtuber so i mean at least small to mid-sized youtubers if you're a large youtuber you can afford to take an l at 65 or can you because now that ads are being ripped off of youtube left and right who's really like benefiting from something like this happening so but i'm always a fan of companies providing way more information than they deem necessary so maybe if there was an injustice snapchat or an injustice instagram page that was literally putting out like behind the scenes information like having review like like literally interviews like you just pick up your phone just like interviews with the dev team day of you know what i mean like oh this this guy's working on on joker's new concept art for his uh new costume or whatever not only that like think i think what's definitely strange aside from the whole you know lack of information lack of marketing approach it just bothers me that uh this game is coming out and there's almost nothing we know about it and um by nothing i mean we don't know if it's coming to pc which is a huge issue to the PC community because we got the the first game. I don't see why you wouldn't bring the second game. Now, a lot of people are talking to me about, well, Jay, maybe it's just a timed exclusive, you know, like Tomb Raider, which was a dumbass idea because when that game came out, nobody wanted to talk about it. Like, it, it was just, it's just so strange. I want to be able to buy this game. I want to be able to play this game, but I don't want to play my console. I just don't want to play it on console. So I'm also not excited, bottom line, I'm not excited because it's not on PC. And I know a lot of people don't play on PC. I know there's quite a few people that do play on PC and would love to have this game because I, I think they're trying to avoid putting this game on PC because of mods and we can unlock free shit. And not just that, but we can get it off of great key sites. We can get it much cheaper off of a great key site like Kingwin or G2A or something like that for a fraction of the price like if the fact that this game is coming out and console players say pay sixty dollars for it but on pc we can get the game pre-ordered paid for and everything for 29 dollars <laughs> like are you serious come on man like no they're just trying to cheat the pc people out but that's just my personal opinion if you're somebody that's triggered let me know down in the comment section i mean you, if you're triggered, you probably shouldn't be leaving a comment in the first place. Let's just be real, because I'm going to roast you, okay? You just, you're, you're probably going to sound really stupid. And if not, if you feel like you have something to contribute to a conversation with me, let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a like if you guys actually enjoyed it. I'm sorry for the morbid video. I try not to do these, but yo, Injustice 2 is just not looking lit to me, man. It's just really not. But anyway, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. This has been your boy, Just Jay Sama. Make sure to keep it canon.